The Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, is among the most captivating natural phenomena on Earth. Here's how those shimmering green shapes are formed. Auroras are caused by charged particles entering the atmosphere and causing ionization of gases, which produces the familiar light. The particles usually originate from a magnetic field created by the sun. Auroras occur in a region that mostly covers northern Canada and Alaska. The northern lights are named the Aurora Borealis, while the same phenomena in the southern hemisphere is called the Aurora Australis. The best time for observing auroras is when the north or south magnetic pole is exactly in between the sun and an observer on Earth's surface, known as magnetic midnight. The charged particles that hit the atmosphere move in spirals along the magnetic field lines of the Earth. The particles enter the atmospheric gases in a ring around the magnetic poles, giving the excited gases their long, ribbon-like shape. Auroras typically occur between 55 and 95 miles above the ground, while extending at times to more than 620 miles into the upper atmosphere. The different atmospheric gases that are ionized by the charged particles are responsible for the different colors produced in an aurora, with excited oxygen producing green or orange-red emissions and nitrogen producing blue or red emissions. Aurora have been notoriously difficult to photograph, as the red emissions can be somewhat dim, requiring long exposures. Digital cameras with highly sensitive components have led to a proliferation of aurora images, however. During intense bouts of solar wind, aurora are bright enough to be seen from orbit, and astronauts aboard the International Space Station have photographed the lights numerous times. When conditions are right, the aurora can extend much further south than they normally appear, as they did in 2011 when the lights showed up over Oklahoma and Atlanta. They even made a famous appearance during the Civil War Battle of Fredericksburg in 1862.